Okay, Celtics fans are not going to like this video. If I have any Celtics subscribers out there, sorry that I'm making this. But when you look at like the Celtics and right now what their situation is, you think, I don't know. Is it? Today, guys, I'm going to be talking about the Boston Celtics and will this offseason sadly be the fall for them. Before I start, though, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and leave a like on this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. So, first things first, let me just tell you this. The free agents on the Celtics that will affect them if they leave. There's Al Horford and Kyrie Irving, two very big players. Marcus Morris could affect them because he was pretty good off the bench, I think. He was pretty good for the Celtics off the bench, and as a starter, he was pretty good. And Terry Rozier, does, he is a restricted free agent, but still, Rozier is pretty good. But really what I want to talk about is that there are rumors saying that Kyrie is going to go to the Nets and that Al Horford will potentially be leaving the Celtics this offseason. The reason why Al Horford's probably going to leave is because the Celtics did try offering him a huge extension. Like, they tried offering him an ex extension, and he declined it. So, this is not at all good for the Celtics, and right now they're not in a good situation, but there are rumors saying that they will try to trade for the fourth pick of the draft now that the Pelicans have it, and they are saying that they will not trade Jason Tatum, which, if they do, then that will definitely mean that will be the fall of the Boston Celtics, but that's good that they're not wanting to trade him, because now that Kyrie is probably going to leave and Al Horford, Jason Tatum will be the all-star to build around of. And besides Jason Tatum, there's really no one else. Like, Jalen Brown, sure, he's pretty good, but he's not a Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum, he's probably one of the best small forwards in the East, probably top 10, even top 5. But he's really good. And if the Celtics trade Jason Tatum away, then really, then it's going to be the fall of the Boston Celtics because Jalen Brown is not a player who can carry the team. Neither is Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward had such a downfall like the 2018 and 19 season for him was a horrible year he was not the same and the 2020 free agents though for the Celtics will be Jalen Brown Aaron Baines Gordon Hayward and that's pretty much it but really one thing though that could most probably work is that I'm just thinking if the Nets sign Kyrie Russell is definitely leaving however should the Celtics try to get D'Angelo Russell? I mean, Russell, if you want to know how he did, let me tell you. He was obviously an all-star this year the first time, and he's definitely not going back to L.A. after the drama he had there. I mean, I don't think Lakers fans are going to want him back because, yeah, it was just not good. But D'Angelo Russell, you guys, is a point guard that averages about 18 points a game. Not too bad. He averages a good amount of assists. Gets him not the... the good like he doesn't get that many rebounds but still he's a guy that could score a good amount of points which is good but Ky without Kyrie like this is what's going to be a huge issue if the Celtics can't get Kyrie back they'll just definitely not be the same because Kyrie has been the leader for the of this team for a while now and without him I mean really there's no one else who could be the point guard Marcus Smart he can only flop he can't really shoot well he can shoot but not like Kyrie Irving he can't do crossovers like Kyrie he's just not like Kyrie and without Al Horford being the starting power forward I believe center something like that then the rebounds will not be easy and they'll probably be they'll probably be having a lot of defensive breakdowns which will not be good and I think that if they can't get Kyrie Irving back or Al Horford their lineup could potentially be like point guard, Marcus Smart, or if they can't even get like Marcus Morris or Terry Rozier back, their lineup could probably be, or let's say this, if they could get Marcus Morris and Terry Rozier back, but not Kyrie, not Horford, their lineup would probably be like point guard, Marcus Smart or Terry Rozier, shooting guard, Jalen Brown, small forward, Jason Tatum, power forward, Marcus Morris, and center, Aaron Baines. Yeah. Or, and probably Gordon Hayward coming off the bench or something like that, but yeah. That is not at all a playoff lineup. Not a team that can make the playoffs. Not even a team that can make the eighth seed. So, without Kyrie and Al Horford, this team will not be the same. So, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments. Do you think that the Boston Celtics this offseason will sadly be the fall for them? That is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. One way the Celtics could fix it 
is if they try to get Kyrie and Al Horford back, but if they can't, then at least try to trade for the fourth pick of the draft to at least try to get something good out of it. Or they could trade for it and, I don't know, trade it again. But I think they should try to draft someone. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. I'm out.